hello everyone welcome to the session 12 in jenkins series so in this session we will see how we can hold the build for a jenkins project for a specified time and then we will see how we can uh, build the jenkins project build uh, when there is upstream or downstream project is still building okay so let's try to understand this uh, very useful concept and useful feature given by the jenkins so let's say we have these three jenkins project job one job two and job three okay so all these projects are dependent on each other okay so there is a dependency between job one and job two okay and job two and job three so job two is downstream project for job one right and job three is a downstream project for job two okay so in similar way we can say for job two upstream project is job one and its downstream project is job three okay so first thing we are going to see is how we can hold the bill for this jenkins project for example when job one will finish job two will automatically get triggered okay but what i want it should not uh, start the building of the project immediately okay it should wait for some 20 minute uh, 20 second or one minute five minute uh, depending upon my requirement okay so once that timeout is completed then the build for the job two will uh, should start so actual build for the job two will start after the timeout that we will give okay in the jenkins okay so let's try to see the first point now so i have created job one job two and job three these are the freestyle project okay so we need to create the dependency between uh, these three job first okay so we know how we can create the dependency so i will open the job two i will go to the configure go to the build trigger okay so if i want to create the dependency between job one and job two i will select this option build after other projects are built so job two should start after job one i will select this option apply and save and again i will go to the configure i need to make the dependency between job 2 and job 3 now right so i will go to the post build action from this drop down i will select this option build other projects so after job 2 job 3 should start okay so you can see for job 2 upstream project is job 1 and downstream project is job 3 okay so now if i start the job 1 okay so after completion of the job 1 job 2 will get triggered automatically and build for the job 2 will start uh, immediately okay so build for the job 2 also completed immediately so now what i want build for the job 2 should wait for some time okay that time i will give let's say 5 minutes 10 minutes and after that time the actual build for the job 2 should start so i will go to the job 2 configure so here you need to click on advanced so here you will get this option quite period select that checkbox okay so here you need to provide the time in seconds okay so after that uh, many seconds actual build for the job 2 will start so if i give let's say 20 second okay so after 20 second job to build will start we will click on apply and save so let's start job one again job one completed so it has started the job two but now you can see that the build for the job two is in waiting condition okay so in the quiet period expires in 9.5 second 4.5 second like this so after 20 second the actual build for the job 2 will start okay so it is starting now okay, now it is completed okay so this quiet feature from the jenkin is uh, you can use in your real time project also so for example in job 1 you are uh, creating the loan for the customer and in job 2 you are doing uh, some assertion uh, of the email okay so let's say this email is triggered after the five minutes when the loan is created now you cannot uh, start assertion from the job 2 immediately when job 1 is completed after job 1 is completed job uh, job 2 should start automatically okay but it should wait for five minutes and then assertion for the email should start right so if you start it immediately then assertion for the email is going to fail right so you need to wait for five minutes ten minutes so depending upon that requirement you can set the dependency and quite period between these two jobs so next point is block jenkins build when upstream or downstream project is building okay that means if job one is still building i cannot start the build for job two 
right it will wait for job one build to complete and then build for the job two will start similarly for the downstream project if it is building then job two should uh, should wait once the build for job three is completed then build for job two should start okay so we need to do some configuration here so what i will do i will uh, make this uh, job on build ideal for some second okay for demonstration purpose i will go to the build let's say execute windows batch command so just use this statement wait for some time happen t20 that means uh, the build for the job one will be ideal for 20 seconds okay and then it will return the null right so it will mark the build for uh, this job one as a success but it will wait for 20 second okay so i will click on apply and save okay so let me remove the quiet period first i will go to the configure okay so i will uncheck this checkbox and i will select this checkbox now block build uh, when upstream project is building so for the job 2 job 1 is my upstream project so if job 1 is building then i cannot start the build for the job 2 okay it will wait for job 1 build to complete so click on apply and save Okay, so first start the build for job one. Okay, so it is going to be ideal for twenty second, and in that time let's start job two also. Let's see if it start immediately or not. So we can see it is pending. Now it has started. Okay, so it has wait for job one to complete and then it has started. Okay, maybe let's give some more time for job one. Let's make job one build ideal for let's say forty second. Okay, it is ideal now. That means job one build is in progress. Okay, so if I start job two build, it should not start immediately. Okay, so it is showing pending. So it will wait for job one build to complete and then it will start. Okay, so this is the another feature that you can use in your real time projects. And last point is job two build should wait if job three build is in progress. Okay, so again we'll have to make job three idle for some time. So again I will use the same statement. it will be idle for 40 second now i will go to the job to go to configure so this time i will have to select this checkbox block build when downstream project is building so for job 2 job 3 is my downstream project if it is in progress then build for the job 2 should wait okay so click on apply and save so first let's start the job 3 okay now it is in ideal it is in progress so let's try to start the job 2 okay so you can see that it did not start immediately and it is showing downstream project job 3 is already building okay so that's why it is in waiting condition so once job 3 is completed it will start the fifth number build for this job 2 okay so now it is completed so thanks for watching guys uh, let me know if you don't understand anything from this session